Hi, welcome to my channel, A Home for Wren. Um, I'm Emma. I've got a 10-month-old daughter named Wren, and I'm a choice mom, solo mom, single mom by choice. Um, and I'm living out uh, in California on my own, far away from family. And I share some of uh, our life at home and some of our life uh, out and about. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about um, family and relationships. So I don't say this very often because I'm quite happy generally with my life. Um, and yet today was a beautiful, beautiful sunny day and the house was also a mess and the garbage needed taking out. And the uh, compost and I needed to change the sheets and everything like that. So. Um, it was a beautiful day and also there were tons of things to do in the house and as much as i wanted to go out and play outside all day with ren um i had to do stuff in the house and um on top of that i definitely felt low energy today um so i do as much as i can i guess to help with my energy levels but it definitely is a marathon uh motherhood as many of you will already know um, and so I, um, so I was also low energy and so doing anything was, felt like a task. Everything felt like I, um, didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do the work. I didn't want to do the play. I didn't want to do anything. Um, and Ren's pretty great. Um, we have a yes space that she hangs out in, um, and She'll generally be happy to play with almost anything. Um, but I felt guilty because if I had a partner maybe or my mom or something like that, then we could have split the duties and one of us done some of the housework and one of us gone out and played. And honestly, I wouldn't have even minded if I was the one doing the housework. I um, have grown to appreciate home and housework and to make my home um, beautiful. So I wouldn't even mind if somebody would have taken Ren and given her a beautiful day. Um, and so that's the reality of solo motherhood, um, or part of the reality. Some of the reality is awesome, um, but a lot of the reality is that you are both mom and dad, and you're juggling all the roles, keeping up a house, taking care of the baby, taking care of yourself, um, and there's no one here to rescue you. I suppose I could have called the babysitter maybe, um, but it didn't feel necessary. Plus Ren's naps have been all over the place and uh, she was extra hungry today. So I've also had to make sure I've been feeding her um, and it just didn't seem like a good day uh, for a babysitter and I haven't found anybody who I could just call on a dime. Sorry, I'm multitasking because that is also um, an underlying theme of this channel. So I'm steaming some asparagus and some um, sweet peas from the market. So that said, um, I've been trying to focus on a lot of the positives of uh, solo, solo motherhood, solo choice motherhood, um, and I've been doing that. And today we did get to the farmer's market this morning briefly, and then we also went to the park for maybe 30 minutes. So not quite as much outdoor time as I would have liked. Um, but you know, if you look at it over a week or over a month, um, it all balances out. So try not to put too much pressure on the, the day. Um, so that's today's episode about balancing housework and play. Um, and she's fine. She's happy. She didn't get as much vitamin D sunshine and neither did I today. But tomorrow is a new day and we will try again. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.